You're so clever. So clever. Big mechanical genius. Here's a bucket, smart guy. Good luck. Hey, this is for shit. You made a big bourgeois deal out of everything and ruined it completely. Ah, I was gonna bug out and be free from all this bullshit and roam around and dig everything and really have a good time? <laughs> Your naivete is astounding. You'd be completely lost without me, Fritz, and you know it. You're a mother I see the hard facts of life. I am realistic, something you're incapable of. You'd be better off with one of those stupid little morons like Charlene, who you could just sleep with and throw away when you're done. You can't cope with a mature woman. You haven't the faintest idea how lucky you are that an intelligent woman loves you and wants to give you something of value, something that will inflame your creative potential. Now get going and hurry up. until the friggin' fuzz showed up. I wish that skinny brought it and turned on the shower, too. I think I'm getting a cold. Hello, man. Everybody all busy studying for their goddamn exams and all? Hey, Fuzz, how'd it go with that DD chick, huh? She got some bod, huh? You have to admit. <laughs> the old Charlene isn't bad either, though, right? Like, wow. Heinz, you swine, old buddy pig. You groove behind Alvina and get some kicks tonight, huh? Bastards, you think the goddamn exams is the be all and end all of existence, cosmic life force or something? <laughs> you think they were the friggin' fugitives? Can't even get in a few decent words to a guy, bastards. <laughs> what a bore. They just sit there and take bennies and stay up all night with their face stuck in a bunch of books and their thumb up their ass. Oh, yes, yes, I remember when the time when it was all very inspiring and enlightening, all this history and literature and sociology. <laughs> you think learning is a really big thing, and you become this big <laughs> intellectual and sit around trying to out-intellectual all the other big <laughs> intellectuals. You spend years and years with your nose buried in these goddamn tomes while the world is passing you by. <laughs> All the stuff to see and all the kicks and all the girls are out there and me a writer and a poet who should be having adventures and experience in all the diversities and paradoxes and ironies of life and passing over all the roads of the world and digging all the cities and towns and, and rivers and the oceans and making all of them As a writer and a poet, it is my duty to get out there and dig the world. To swim the whole friggin' scene while there is still time, man. My farting around days are over, baby. From this day on, I shall live every day as if it was my last. Yeah, yeah, I must do it. No more of the dreary, boring classes, the dismal lectures, the sitting around bullshitting with pretentious fat hippies. No more of the books, the outings of a bunch of old farts who think they know the whole goddamn score. <laughs> oh my god, what have I done? Uh, <laughs> I set all my notes and books and stuff on fire and uh, now I can't study for my exams. I'll flunk out and my folks will be pissed off as hell. I'll get a blank. Blankets on fire. And we better call the fire department. They ride around in limousines. Get the f off my Bosses, car. I ain't no job. Black, honey. Who do you think I am?